The Michigan Department of Civil Rights today filed two more discrimination charges against the Grand Rapids Police Department. Those charges are the latest from 21 active complaints against GRPD. News 8's Byron Tolson joins us now with new information tonight about how that compares to the rest of the state, Byron. Brian and Michelle, this really goes back to following the period after Patrick Leoya's death. The Department of Civil Rights held two public listening sessions in Grand Rapids asking people about their experiences with police. That has resulted in the department filing 21 different complaints against Grand Rapids police, much higher than other departments across the state. The Michigan Civil Rights Department says tonight Grand Rapids police by far has the highest number of complaints of any law enforcement agency in the entire state. 21 cases are currently under investigation. The second highest is Detroit with eight, and then Michigan State Police with six. The Department of Civil Rights recognized in 2019 that alleged instances of bias and discrimination had reached a level of specific concern. Of these 21 cases, there have been four discrimination charges against the Grand Rapids Police Department. The latest charges stem from an incident in August 2018 when someone called dispatch about two kids playing with a gun. It ended up being a toy gun. Officers handcuffed two 11-year-old twins plus a 17-year-old and put them in a cruiser. John Johnson, the executive director of the Department of Civil Rights, says the boys followed officers' orders. He said police found no weapons but detained and questioned the boys for 20 minutes without calling their parents. The Grand Rapids Police Department was unable to show evidence of any white children who were similarly held at gunpoint, handcuffed, searched, placed in a squad car, and questioned in response to a 911 call and no allegation of a crime. Earlier this year, the department filed two different discrimination charges against GRPD. The first for the 2017 case of Honesty Hodges, an 11-year-old black girl. Police had been looking for a stabbing suspect who was Honesty's aunt. Officers went into their home and body camera video showed police holding Honesty at gunpoint, telling her to walk backwards to officers who handcuffed her and placed her in a cruiser. The second complaint was for a 2020 incident in which a Grand Rapids woman was pulled over for an expired plate. The Civil Rights Department says even though the woman complied with all requests, the officer had his hand on his gun. Although there are 21 active complaints, the department wants to emphasize these are individual incidents. We take individual complaints and we, have, we investigate them individually. Um, and that is what this is. It is not a, this is not a pattern and practice charge. This is a, a charge based upon the individuals who have filed them. And we'll continue to investigate each individual complaint thoroughly. Here's what happens next with these cases. A judge is going to decide if there's enough evidence to show discrimination in those four charges and potentially penalize GRPD. The Civil Rights Commission will also do its own hearing, which could also result in punishments or fines. A spokesperson for the city of Grand Rapids says they will be reviewing the charges and responding appropriately.